guys so in this video i want to teach you how you can trade buy and sell your cryptocurrency especially usdt using the peer-to-peer -peer platform on bitget exchange okay in some countries you cannot directly purchase cryptocurrency on an exchange however what people use is uh, a peer-to-peer -peer platform where they, whereby they buy uh, tokens like usdt and they send the vendor their own native currency let's say in nigeria now i want to buy usdt i will send uh, the vendor on p2p my naira and i'll get the equivalent in usdt okay so if i want to buy uh, let's say dogs token now i cannot directly just buy dogs token with naira all right so all i need to do is to first use the peer-to-peer -peer platform to purchase usdt okay once i purchase usdt i move it to my spot wallet and i use that usdt to purchase the dogs token so basically that is how it is being done so that's what i'm going to teach you right now the steps you need to take the things you need to avoid to ensure that you don't get scammed or you don't get uh, delayed payments and the like so ensure you follow me in this video until the end so the first thing you need is your bitget exchange account or you need to sign up on bitget and uh, verify your account is very very important so let's say this is a new account and i want to buy usdt okay for trading on bitget exchange all i need to do is to click on deposits here or i click on more okay i click on deposits here or i click on more so let me first click the deposit so you can see once i click deposit you see all this deposit crypto uh credit card p2p trading bank transfer third payment uh, third party payment so all you need to do is to click on p2p trading okay so if i go back and i click on more all right you will see p2p this will give you access to everything on that more so our interest is in p2p so let me click on p2p so it will bring us to this particular interface that you are seeing okay so let me go back again and click on deposit to see if it will take us to the same interface all right that's p2p trading and voila we are in the same interface okay so this is just like a tutorial if you want to buy usdt that is you don't have usdt before you want to buy usdt it will be you have to click on buy at the top right there and if you want to sell you click on sell okay so there are different different ways you see select the fiat currency you want to trade all right let me just keep it and just explain to you in my own terms okay so this is how it works if you want to buy click on buy if you want to sell usdt you click on sell all right at the top here that is the currency that you want to exchange the usdt for and it is in nigerian uh nera for me okay so you can see usdt limits and method i'll explain all this later and you see merchants i'll explain this right away okay so if you want to, whatever you want to buy it will be the currency so if i click on usdt here okay you can see a list of cryptocurrency that you can get using this peer-to-peer -peer platform so you can see that it is limited so let's say you want to uh buy what coin is that again or no? let's say you want to buy ethereum classic or any any type of coin you cannot see it here all right you cannot see it here so you have to buy usdt first and go and use the spot trading uh platform on bitget exchange to trade it all right so it's very very it's simple and straightforward okay so i select usdt okay so you see limits beside usdt once i click on limits this will impute the amount of uh cryptocurrency i want to buy or i want to sell the amount of usdt in nigerian era so let's say uh the limit i want is 100k so what this does is that it shows you the uh it shows you merchants or vendors yeah, let me call them vendors choose you vendors within the limit of your price okay so you can see you see limits here you see these vendors right here you see their price all right the amount of usdt they have this is their limits all right 10k to 101k all right but i will explain to you the type of vendor you are supposed to trade with because you can see this one here now it's saying restricted you cannot trade with this kind of uh, person okay then uh you see method if you click on method to show you this are like payment method 
you, ju you should just leave it in O or bank transfer anyone, but I used to leave it in O. Now, beside that, you see merchants. Okay, so if you click on this, these are like verified merchants on BitGet, so it will show only their advertisements right here. So you can see all of the merchants are verified. Okay, you can see the tick button at the front. But if you remove that, you see people that are not uh, verified also. It does not mean that they are scammers. Though. They are like, they, some of them are legit. But it's better to go with um, a merchant. All right. So I always tick that box. It's very, very important. Okay. So let me remove this um, limit. All right. Let me remove this limit. Okay. Let me reduce it to 10K. Confirm. Okay. So if I want to buy uh usdt so this is what i'm going to do using the peer-to-peer -peer platform so you can see a lot of uh people that are willing to sell so you need to be very very careful around here this is what i do before i ensure that i place a trade with anybody on the b2p platform okay so first of all i check the number of orders that they have all right within 30 days and i check their completion rates which is the percentage I check if they are online before I decide to create an order. All right. So look at this person here. This person here has just 141 orders. The person has 100% completion rate, which is fine. But this order is just too small for me to go ahead with this person. Although this person has a very a better rate when I want to buy, the person is going to sell USDT for me at 1648, while others are selling 1650 and more. But then I don't use this particular um, i don't use the price to carry out uh, my trade look at here this person is restricted so i can't even i can't even buy or sell to these restricted people so it's very very important that you take note of this so i'd rather buy from somebody with a uh with maybe two or three naira difference in their rates but it will assure me that i'm going to get my money or my uh tokens okay so look at this person now this person has five orders and 100 percent person has was online one hour ago of course i can't buy from this person in fact he's restricted okay so i'll just have to scroll look for a very good someone with over 1000 orders and over 90 percent or 95 over 95 percent completion rate so this person is good to go chefs ben Aliu, good to go over 1k orders these 25 25 orders i cannot buy from this person okay so ensure that you take a look take a, like a good notes at this all right so this person is ideal for over four thousand orders 99 percent all i need to do is to click on buy all right look at the limits right here so click on buy once you click on buy to take you to this interface all right so you enter the amount you want to like buy in naira then you select bank transfer then you click buy usdt with zero fees okay so once you do that uh you it will ask you to add your to ask you to add your payment method so it's very very important that you add your payment method you add your bank name uh bank account number it will ask location and the like a lot of things yeah? so once you've supplied that they are not very difficult to get you click on buy same as sell so once you click on sell remember i told you there's buy and there's sell and how do you change is at the top here so we were on buy now we are on sell all right so same thing you want to sell usdt you check you impute the limits here you put the method here you can just everything is on all then you can select merchants okay so you look for the best the best uh the best seller here and from what we can see still the same this person has over 4k orders 99 percent completion rate and the person is online so you can easily sell to this particular person all right this one also 3824 100 online yeah but you can see it is, it is restricted so this is a no-go area all right so there are some people you see with very very bad and ridiculous rates in terms i'm not talking about uh, in terms of price though in terms of their completion rates right here please don't go with them for those that have lower distance too i do not advise although most of them are good but i do not advise she gets so basically those are the loopholes you see sometimes you come here you see some people somebody at the top right here 
a person's rate will be like very very high maybe 1700 and the next people below it will be 1600 you'll be very enticed to purchase from the person with 1700 but you have to be very careful look at their completed orders and completion rates if it does not like if it's not nice if it's not good don't go ahead in fact i would advise i should not go ahead with that kind of trade when it is too high if it's too good to be true then of course you know what it is it is not true so come here you click on look for a, a good a good vendor all right then click on sell so once you click on sell to show you this 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 all right so you enter the amount you enter everything you set up your payment method and you click on sell with sell usdt with zero fees so once you do that um the next steps will be like it will be direct all right so that is how you can buy and sell using the p2p exchange carefully without having to lose your money all right this video has been too long i really appreciate you for staying with me until the end i'll see you in my next video i post videos about airdrops making money online mm -hmm. and other digital related stuff all right thank you very much please do want to subscribe to support me and share this with your friend who is in need of a tutorial like this i'll see you in my next video bye